This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Carbonite. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here, here with my review of the fifth generation iPod Touch, which just got released. Apple gave this almost the same treatment as it did the iPhone 5, really focusing a lot on the hardware. In this review, I'm not only going to talk about the hardware, I'm going to talk about the software, the camera, and really just see how good of an upgrade this iPod Touch is over the previous generation and whether it's worth your hard earned money. So, anyway, this is going to first start with the design and the hardware. Now this new iPod Touch is Apple's thinnest and lightest that they've ever made and it comes in at just 0.24 inches thick and weighs only 3.10 ounces and as I'm comparing it between the iPhone 5 and the previous generation iPod Touch you can see the design differences and especially the design characteristics that have carried over from the iPhone 5 to this new iPod Touch and I would tell you just by holding it even if you held the iPhone 5 before and you felt how light that thing is this iPod Touch is going to make you forget that and it makes the iPhone 5 feel heavy. As we take a look around the iPod Touch it does feel better in your hand that's because of these beveled edges that you can see there. Plus, the entire back now is made out of aluminum, the same type of aluminum that you find in the MacBooks. And this aluminum does come in a ton of different colors, and the colors aren't just painted on, they actually bond it to the aluminum itself, so that's going to help prevent it get scratches and things like that. Now, I'll say all these different iPod touches, any different colors really do stand out. All the buttons in the ports are basically the same, except for on the bottom, they do have the new lightning connector port at the bottom, which was first introduced in the iPhone. Now they brought it over to the iPod Touch. The next to that is the headphone jack that you can use the new earpods that come packaged in with this new touch. And now Apple is introducing one new design feature to this new iPod Touch and that is this little button on the back which you press in and it'll pop up and now you can attach the iPod Touch loop that comes with every new iPod Touch and there's this little strap you can put on your wrist and now you'll be able to carry this iPod Touch around, don't have to worry about dropping it, anything like that. Now I will see this as a really good benefit for kids and things like that can be working with this iPod Touch. Um, so it definitely hangs on, you can definitely do a lot of stuff with this thing, it's not going to come out at all. And one thing I'm interested with the loop is going to see how case manufacturers are actually going to be able to design around it, whether they're going to either block that functionality of this new loop or they're going to find some way to be able to use the loop even in the case so that's one thing we have to wait and see now the display on this touch has also been improved as well it's sporting the same four inch retina display that you find in the iPhone 5 and has the same exact specs it has a resolution of 1136 by 640 and 326 ppi or pixels per inch and i did a little side by side comparison between both of the screens they look exactly identical to each other so it's good to see that the ipod touch has caught up to the iphone as far as the display and now let's make our way to the inside of this new iPod Touch where you'll find either 32 or 64 gigabyte memory configurations depending on which version you go with, 512 megabytes of RAM, Bluetooth 4.0. As far as the wireless internet, you'll find 802.11n at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies. And now you'll also find the new dual core A5 processor which is promising to double the performance of the previous iPod Touch. Now as far as battery life, Apple promised you up to 40 hours of audio playback, up to 8 hours of video playback, and do note that's 2 hours short of the 10 hours that the iPhone 5 can get as far as video playback. In my experience, you can play at least two or three days of playing games casually and watching videos and listening to music without having to put this thing on a charger. So the battery of life is pretty solid. And now moving on to the cameras, Apple has improved both of the cameras. The rear facing camera is a five megapixel camera that can shoot 1080p AC video at 30 frames per second, which is up from the 720p AC video that was in the previous generation iPod Touch. And it also has an aperture of f2.4, which is gonna be really good for low light situations. And so you can see from the quality from this video that it's pretty close the iPhone 5, not exactly even with it, but it's close enough. And I did a more in-depth comparison between these cameras and another video. I'll leave an annotation down below. And you can check that out. But I would say I'm pretty impressed with the rear-facing camera quality. And now moving away to the front of the iPod Touch, the new FaceTime HD camera is now 1.2 megapixels and can shoot 720p HD video at 30 frames per second. And in my comparison with the iPhone 5, I would say there's no really no difference at all between the two cameras. They're pretty neck and neck as far as performance. And now let's talk about software. This new iPod Touch runs iOS 6, which is the latest offering from Apple. And it's basically the same thing that you find on the iPhone 5 and also on the iPhone 4S as well. Now, the only thing is that, of course, it's missing the phone features. But also, too, I did note that in the camera application, you can't take photos while recording video at the same time like you can do in the iPhone 5, which is weird because the iPod Touch definitely has the hardware to be able to do that. But Apple elected to keep that out of the software. But other than that, you'll find all the new features in iOS 6 from Passbook, the new Maps, which is definitely hit and miss. Uh, the new Facebook integration, the new panorama picture mode, and also too, you'll find the new VIP mail as well. And here's my benchmark comparison using Geekbench. And I have the new iPod Touch sitting there in the middle. You can see it scores about twice as fast as the previous generation Touch, which is to its left. But to its right, it is the beast of the iPhone 5, which has the dual core A6 processor. And the new iPod Touch doesn't really come anywhere close to that. 
But when you're doing general things around the OS, the new iPod Touch, we'll be able to keep up right up there with the new iPhone 5, like when you're taking pictures or things like that. But all in all, I do feel that this new iPod Touch can run iOS 6 very solid and very fluid, but I still feel that Apple kind of left some things out of iOS 6, especially you have all this new hardware with this new touch, and I don't think it's really taking advantage of it. So I still feel that iOS 6 is just lacking a little bit here in the new iPod Touch. So as I wrap up this video, you can see that the theme of this review was basically that this new iPod Touch is an iPhone without the phone. Now we've said this in the past, but really in the past, the screen and the cameras weren't really nowhere close to what the iPhone was bringing at that point. But this new iPod Touch, as far as the design wise, is able to keep right up there with the new iPhone 5. The cameras are definitely close enough as far as the performance. And again, the display is exactly the same which you can find on the iPhone 5. But basically, if you're not really wanting to use an iPhone for your primary driver as a cell phone, but you really like that iOS experience and want a portable device that you can be able to get all the latest movies, TV shows, and applications. This new iPod Touch for generation is going to be the closest thing to an iPhone that you can get without getting into a two-year contract with a cell phone company. Now, the biggest negative about this iPod Touch has nothing to do with the touch itself. It's basically the price point. The entry-level price point is now $299 for the 32GB version, and the 64GB version will run you $399. So, if you want the new iPod Touch, there's no getting a 16GB version for, you know, in the 200s. Now, you're going to be starting at $300. And with this particular price point, I think Apple put this new iPod Touch out of the reach of a lot of customers who would otherwise bought it. But all in all, I do think this new iPod Touch is a very solid improvement over the previous generation iPod Touch in every single category. It's it just really depends whether you're going to reach in your pocket to pay for it or not. Anyway, guys, it brings it into my review of this new iPod Touch. But before we head out here, it's going to take one to look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is Carbonite. Now, more than likely, every single one of us has lost some data somehow on our computer, whether a hard drive probably crashed, or you accidentally dropped your computer and broke it, or somebody may have stolen it, burned up in the fire, who knows? But a lot of times you lose this information, but Carbonite is a very easy and simple backup solution. It's automatic and it's in the cloud, so you don't have to worry about any hardware, anything like that. And they have some iPad and iPhone applications that you can use to actually access all of your files and your information on the go on those different devices. So Carbonite is the better backup plan for your home office or your small business and so if you're interested in trying out carbonite you can try it absolutely free by going to carbonite.com and use the offer code soldier and if you do decide to go ahead and buy carbonite after you do the trial you can get two bonus months just because you use that offer code soldier again it's carbonite.com and the offer code is soldier all right guys again thanks for watching this video please leave a comment down below but what you think about this new ipod touch fifth generation and also too if you do like this video please like the video down below and i will have a giveaway for this new touch coming up very soon for you guys and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later Peace.